Once in the city of Ujjain lived a rich merchant. He was a great miser. His name was Avik. He spent his days making plans to make more and more money. Very soon, he found a new way of making money. He started cheating people by selling wheat mixed with stones and adulterating ghee. One day, a youth went to Avik's shop and bought ghee. When he tasted the ghee at home, he found the taste bitter. It smelled bad. Immediately, he went to Avik and told him to take the ghee back as it was impure. Avik laughed and said, "I would not take the ghee back. For this amount, I can sell only this quality of ghee. If you want pure ghee, pay twice the amount." But you are already overcharging," complained the youth. Soon both of them had a big argument. The youth then went to the king with the ghee and complained that Avik was selling adulterated ghee. The king immediately sent his men to fetch Avik and get the vessel of ghee he was selling from. The king himself tasted the ghee and found it adulterated. He was very angry. He said, "How can you sell such low quality ghee? Don't you know that it might harm people?" Avik got scared and told the truth. "I have been mixing pure ghee with other oils to get more profits, Your Majesty." Kindly forgive me this time. I won't do this again. But the king told him that he had played with the health of the people. He decided to teach him a lesson. He said, "You can choose one of these three punishments. You either pay a fine of hundred gold coins, or receive hundred lashes, or drink the entire key in the vessel. The choice is yours." A week was a miser. He did not want to give gold. The other punishment of getting lashes would be painful. He thought that the best option would be to drink the ghee. So he made up his mind and told the king that he would drink the ghee. The king warned him, "You must drink the entire vessel. If you leave even a few drops, you will have to take alternative punishments in full measure." Avik nodded his head and started drinking the ghee. It smelled bad. He soon realized what a substandard ghee he was selling to his customers. He could not even finish half of it and started vomiting. He told the king, "Your Majesty, I cannot take a drop more." But the king said, "You have to complete the punishment in full. Now you have to opt for one of the two punishments: receive hundred lashes or pay hundred gold coins as fine." Avik was still not ready to part with gold. Let me take the lashes. After all, the pain may last for a day. He thought and told the king he would receive the lashes. The king called for a guard. The guard swung the lash and dealt the first blow on Avik's back. Avik cried with pain. Ten, eleven, twelve. The guard was counting as he kept on giving lashes to the merchant. At last, Avik could no longer bear the pain. He shouted, "Stop it! Stop it! I cannot take them any more. I will pay the fine." The king smiled and told him, "I hope you have learnt a lesson today. Because of your greed and miserliness, you ended up facing all the three punishments." Avik hung his head in shame.